Hey, how's it going folks? This is Jose Garcia. In this video, I'm going to walk you through qualifying a part for the electrical routing package. Okay, uh, so let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into it. As you can see here, I have a connector from McMaster car. Nothing special there. Now, in order to start the qualification process, all you have to do is come up here to application and hit electrical and it will throw you into the electrical routing package. Now, what is qualifying a part? Qualifying a part means that you are telling NX how this part is going to behave in the electrical routing package. Okay, so it makes your life a lot easier when it comes to making harnesses or cables. So in order to execute the qualify part command, you're going to come to this part group here in the more. There is a command here called qualify part. Okay, click it. Now, there are three route part types. Most of the time, you're probably going to be on fitting. So we're going to leave it there on fitting. And then there are subcategories to this fitting. There's a connector, a device, a splice, a fitting, and a template assembly. We are going to stick with these three up here. Okay, Connector means that this piece is being used to connect to a stationary device. Okay, So think of it like a computer. Right. If you have your desktop next to you, uh, there's a motherboard on it, right? All those little ports on the motherboard, those are stationary devices. You need a connector, for example, an HDMI cable to connect to those devices. Okay. And so you can think of it that way. If a connector is being used to connect to a stationary device, well, chances are it's going to fall under this first category here. The device is kind of like we just talked about. So again, that's the stationary device. Again, using your computer as an example, that's the stationary device. That's where the connector is plugging into. So we're going to skip that one. We're not going to use that one in our case. And then splice is just you know a, a device that's used to connect two wires together. Nothing special there. Okay, uh, So we're going to leave it on connector here. And then you have three types of ports. Okay, Now, usually... A route part type that's a fitting and a connector usually it has two types of ports okay and they're either gonna be a fitting so both of them are gonna be a fitting port or it's gonna be both a fitting and a multi port okay now what exactly do these three mean a fitting port is just used to specify in NX how it's gonna mate to the device that's it. It doesn't have any other intelligence. It doesn't have how many terminals. It doesn't have any of that. It's just used for positioning. Okay. Fixture port is used for things like clamps and hangers, right? So if your wire harness has to pass through a certain clamp, you qualify the clamp with a fixture port. Okay. And then you have multi-port, which in this case, this is a part that's also going to be a multi-port because it has multiple wires going into it. So with that being said, this piece is going to have two ports, one that's a fitting port and the other one is going to be a multi-port. So let's start with the easy one, which is the fitting port. All you have to do is click the fitting port there and then you can go ahead and click this little new button or you can right click and say new. Either one works just fine. Uh, so let's check everything here. This is a fitting, right? That's correct. Let's give our port a name. I'll call it the mating underscore side there. That's fine. And then you have a method, right? How do you want to find your uh, fitting port? Uh, I happen to be a big fan of midpoint on face. Now remember, this is the port that's going to be used to tell NX how it's going to mate to the device, right? There are no wires coming out of this part, or at least this port. There's nothing special there. Uh, so midpoint on face is good enough for me. I'll go ahead and select that. And let's go ahead and choose this bottom face here, right? Because, of course, our other connector, our device, is going to fully seat with this connector, Right. So we need to simulate that. And, you know, the whole port to port thing is going to go to this face here like that. Now, as you can see there, we have a port. OK. And that face, when you bring it into the actual assembly, it will mate with the face of the device and the port as well. OK, so that's good. Now, if this still makes this confuse you a little bit, don't worry. We're going to make an assembly about this in a separate video. 
so that's good. We have our qualify port here. And of course, now I'm going to go over here to my extension. I don't really have an extension here because I want it to seat perfectly. So I'm going to leave that blank. And then you have your specify rotation vector. Now, you usually don't have to apply this. Okay. However, it is useful for things like rotation. So if you mate this thing and, you know, you want to control it in a certain uh, axis, you might want to specify that here. And in the older versions of NX, you were required, or at least I think it was an option as well, with a little cryptic menu that said you had to specify a rotation vector. Okay, so in this case, I will specify one, although it's not necessary. Usually it's perpendicular to your fitting port. Uh, so I'll go ahead and choose the Y axis here. And you can see now we have our nice, beautiful uh, port there. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit OK on that. And our port is created. Okay. And so that is the side that is going to mate with the device, right? But as we all know, there have to be some wires that come out of here, right? Because this is going to be connected and it's going to create a harness. And so we need to add that intelligence to signify that it has to essentially go out from these little holes into the spline path. And that's what the multi port is for. Okay, the multi port tells NX that the side that we're going to classify as a multi port is going to have multiple wires coming out of it. All right, so go ahead and select multi there and hit the little new button there. And of course, now we have to start specifying our multi port. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a name, you know, I'll call this the harness side, like that. Uh, the method, I'll choose midpoint on face here. I'll go ahead and select this face here like that. Okay. Uh, and now I'm not going to specify any extension here. If I go to the settings, I can add a little bit of an addition here. And I am going to do that since, you know, I'm going to specify my ports as the center of these holes. Uh, but I want to add a little bit more. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and enter maybe a value of half of an inch there. So I'll say that all wires that are going to come out of this port need to have an additional half of an inch added. Uh, and now let's go ahead. I'm not going to specify a rotation vector here. Let's go ahead and hit OK there. Now you can tell that the multi port looks a little different from your usual fitting port. And the way that you can tell that is because the multi port has two little cones on it. See that? Uh, so that's how you differentiate between these two here. Uh, we're not done yet, though. There's one other step we have to do, and that's we have to tell NX how many cables are going to be coming out of this multi port. And you can do that by right clicking on the port that you just created, the multi port here, and then say assign terminals. Okay. Now at this point, we have to start specifying where our terminals are. Uh, so I'll go ahead and hit this little plus sign here, add a new terminal right there. Okay. And, you know, if you're following a certain convention or what have you, you know, you want to put a name here that makes sense. For example, positive or negative or ground or whatever, right? Uh, I'm just going to use numbers here. So I'll say one there. That's fine. Uh, and then I'm going to start from the left hand side over here. So I'll go in here and select the center of this hole there. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to go over here into the generate sequence option here. And of course, I can now generate a sequence very easily if I wanted to. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So there's five there. Uh, I'm going to say that I'm going to start at one and I'm going to end at five there. And I'll say generate sequence there. Uh, and now we have five ports that we can go and define. So now I'll use number two there. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that one there. I'll use number three. There we go. Number four, that one there. And number five, right here. Just like that. All right. That looks pretty good. I can go ahead and hit OK there. And you can see that our ports are now satisfied. You know, we might want to change the length of these guys here. That's not a big deal. You can always right click on the harness side multi port uh, and say edit there. 
as you can see I added half of an inch maybe I want to extend this half of an inch there let's try that uh, I'll go ahead and hit OK there uh, that looks pretty good okay and that pretty much takes care of qualifying a part so in the next series of videos we are going to now use this part in an assembly okay now if you had other connectors this would be the exact same process you would go through you would specify your fitting port uh, you know that's the port that's going to be used for mating purposes and if it has multiple connections then you would use the multi port if you're working with something like a clamp then you would use a fixture port and we'll take a look at that in a separate video but I hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions please feel free to drop them down below. Thank you so much. Take care.